Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I shot a serious video, and I've been doing a lot of stuff. I'm going to talk about the 29th version of my website. I'm just going to show you guys a screenshot, and it's kind of going to have some hardware um, analogies. Uh, there's just way too much to talk about in a single video, so I'm going to kind of do a, a, a series. Um, I haven't forgot about hardware, however, a PSU blew out, but I do have some new hardware, so for those of you who are want to know about hardware so basically a sneak preview of what I'm going to be doing ah yes that's right AM3 alright but blown PSU and I'm just using a 430 watt right now so I can't really talk about that stuff anyway let's get the web alright so I'm working on the 29th version of my site uh, it was version 2 but I, I know you know 18th century is already like 1700s and all that the numbering actually works out anyway People ask me, what's my website about? Basically, my interest. It's how I learn. So there, um, we got that covered. So anyway, what am I doing? I'm doing some pretty insane cutting edge stuff. However, I'm not gonna get into that. I'm just gonna cover more of the, uh, more of the platform-like aspects of it and kind of give you guys an idea of my goals and what I've been doing with it. It's different. I mean, if you go to my website right now, it's still different, jabcreations.com. Same thing as my, my username here on YouTube. Uh, anyway, so, uh, my goals. Well, one of my big goals with my website has always been to just have everything integrated and to just work together. Have all those wonderful nifty things like a blog, a chat room, forums, polls, private messaging, profiles, the whole nine yards. But the big problem with that is, is that unless you know like everything, including databases, it's kind of impossible to do on your own. So then you have to rely on third-party stuff like Word. I have a WordPress blog right now, but WordPress their code sucks, horrible. Um, I used to have uh, I, I closed out my forms. I don't uh, forms became an issue every time I did a new version. I decided to redo the templates, and every time they came out with a new version of their their software, I'd have to redo the templates and. There's no point to it. Well, last year I finally got into databases, okay? Now, you register, you go on here on YouTube, you go on any website, you, you fill out in information, it gets stored in a database, okay? And what I, what I really learned, because I do everything dynamic, all right? 99.9% .9 of all the websites and all the code they use is static. Static is bad. Static only works the one way it's given. Dynamic will take anything and just it just works beautiful. Of course, it's kind of... It's harder code, but once you have it working, it's absolutely dropped it freaking gorgeous. It just works. All right. So anyway, uh, platform. All right. So what I'm building is all these features I refer to as modules because on their own right they are distinct. A blog is not the same thing as a chat room, which is not the same as uh, forms, etc. So they're all modules. But I want them all nice and integrated together. So you can go between all these different things. There are, I guess you could say, software suits that exist, but the quality sucks because we've all seen the videos of, of Bomber from Microsoft screaming, developers, developers, developers. The one thing that developers don't get is design because, let's face it, developers don't get design, designers don't get development. I'm 99% designer, 1% developer. But I learned I learned the databases last year, okay? And I got into relation databases. Dynamic, it's beautiful. What, what's a bit, what's the point of relation databases, and why is it letting me build all this stuff? It's very, very simple. Let's say you have 5,000 posts on a form, okay? And you want to do something like, say, change your username, right? Well, if you don't have a relational database, a dynamic database, then you have to go through every single time you have a post and change the username. Not very efficient. If you do a relational database, all you got to do is change one record, boom, the whole site changes. Just like CSS, where if you have a, it doesn't matter if you have 10, hundred or a million pages, if they all use the same style sheet and you change the background color for that one style sheet, no matter how many pages you use, it changes instantly. 
that's the power of doing things dynamic. CSS, relational databases, dynamic is beautiful. It's very powerful if you know how to, to do it. And this is how I've learned, is by working on my website. So, I finally, um, so last November, uh, the second half of November, I built a blog. December, I built a forum. January, I built a chat room. February, I got into some insane stuff and, re and eventually I, I rebuilt my chat room. It's 100%. For those of you who are really into the web, it's, it, it's insane. It's all DOM. JavaScript DOM. It's what the browser sees. It's not just some inner HTML, which is a Microsoft proprietary format, where you just dump HTML and hope it works. I mean, I'm doing some insane stuff, and it's all XHTML plus XH, uh, it's all application XHTML plus XML. One XML error, the whole page breaks. Hardcore, highest standards possible, all keyboard accessible, we're talking insane standards. You know, it all works, it's all integrated. So. And that's just, that's just the base features. I haven't even gotten to the exciting stuff yet. Now, if you're big in the web, a lot of the stuff I've been saying is kind of exciting, you know. You know, but I'm, I'm more interested in doing what what you know, the stuff that you, it's a pain in the ass on most sites. Uh, you, there's the theme editor, and if you go back a few um, my history, you'll see the editor. Um, that will actually be doing, I will be constructing a JavaScript benchmark out of that. That'll be pretty sweet. Uh, you'll be able to export and import themes and share your themes. Uh, you'll be you'll be able to mess with uh, CSS3 options. You'll be able to set custom fonts. You know, there'll be members themes. You'll be able to, you know, do ratings on themes and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of insane stuff new content. I'm adding a new anime section and I'm going to be um, reviewing different anime series that I watch and there'll be good reviews where you actually understand what the series is about and you decide if you really want to watch it or not without you know those annoying spoilers. I set up a whole new CMS module where yes I have my own content management uh, system. I can add content through my browser. I don't have to go through the FTP. Um, I mean, I'm doing, I've, I've got uh, details. I mean, you can, um, I even have it set up where it replaces the, the crappy looking checkboxes that the, the browsers use with my own custom images. So I'm doing a lot of insane stuff. And that's my simple summary. And a lot of the technology, I'm going to get front, I'm working on Web 3.0 stuff. And now I'm not full of myself. I really am working on some insane cutting edge stuff that I am only just hinting at right now. And so these six going on seven months I haven't been around. I've been really keeping myself busy. And yes, I will be shooting some more gamer videos, but games don't make the money, but I will be doing them. And I've got a new AM3 system out and I will be shooting those videos soon once I get a new PSU. But I will uh, shoot some more videos, and I'm just glad I just got this out here. So hopefully you guys are happy with this. You can gnaw on this. You can watch this. You can say, "Hey, I got something that could, could, you know, blow some time." And boom, there you go. So I will um, link a screenshot uh, of the front page. Yes, I know, just one measly screenshot. But hey, I figured, you know, I don't really, it just, I just have too much to show in one video. So I might as well have an excuse to make a whole bunch of videos. So, um, I still have some stuff to finish on the third alpha. And um, once I finish the third alpha, which I, I really have to finish it, but once I'm there, I'll shoot a second video. I might shoot a second video before, I don't know. But I will definitely show you guys some content in the next video. And the moment I get this PSU, you can... Bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be blowing people's heads off in the video games. Okay? Anyway, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, and uh, I promise I'll get some videos out soon. See you guys.